Don't. Don't be silly. Battles, bloodshed and murderous monks await the team in Staffordshire. Something just touched the top of my head. to Most Haunted and Sinai Eye House. Nestled away in Staffordshire, we find a family residence that holds a strong ritualistic and religious past. The house actually consists of two buildings, one a derelict shell currently undergoing restoration, whilst the other calls on several period styles, including medieval and Jacobean. Its moated grounds also hint at the rich history that saw it witness the many English Civil War battles that broke out nearby. Henry VIII once bestowed the house to the Paget family, and with them it stayed until a century ago. And although a new family have moved in, a series of shocking events suggest that Sinai's ghosts have not moved out. This place is amazing. Uh, it goes back... Um certainly to the time of Burton Abbey. Uh, that goes back to 1002. This place was established up here as a sanatorium, an infirmary, and they used to do an awful lot of bloodletting here. What used to happen uh, was that the monks from Burton Abbey would, would come up here um, every so many months for, for bloodletting. But as well as that, of course, ill and sick monks would come here and of course not only was it a place of life but obviously it would also be a place of death lots of monks would have died here there's no doubt about it and of course more than anything there are stories of, of the ghosts of monks appearing here this is the first floor guest room which is an unfortunate title because many of the guests refuse to stay here on their own the reason is they're seeing a dark hooded figure of an old monk he wanders aimlessly around in this room and the adjoining corridor my brother he had a pressure on his chest in the night one night something was trying to crush him but there was nothing there and there used to be like a light white light go down around the bedroom it used to travel all around all four walls. And the curtains were drawn, so it couldn't have been a torch from outside, and there was no answer to it. Outside this marvellous building, there's been some very strange occurrences. A ghostly hay cart has been seen stopping in this very spot. Also, many people have reported seeing and hearing a phantom coach and horses. It drives up the driveway and then disappears. Also, duelling cavaliers and roundheads have been seen fighting just by the moat bridge, and this all happens in the dead of night. Burton-on-Trent featured quite heavily in the English Civil War. Um, there was a battle of Burton Bridge, and Cromwellian soldiers have been reported sitting by the fireplace. A pack of black dogs, once owned by some abbots that used to live here, have been seen prowling in this area. The apparition of soldiers have been seen huddled around the fire. And a man dressed in 18th century clothes has been seen lurking in the corners of this very room. But the building actually belonged to the Paget family from about 1554, after the dissolution of the monasteries. And one of the Pagets, very famous chap, who fought at the Battle of Waterloo, the Earl of Uxbridge, owned this property and came here on more than one occasion and his ghost has been seen in the drawing room of this house. So all in all, we've got a mixture of, of different ghosts here. Um, very, very exciting place. There is such things as ghosts. I've seen them. And although we are working within a small location, parapsychologist Kieran O'Keefe feels that this needn't present an obstacle in our endeavour to obtain evidence of the paranormal. The positive side of being in such a small home is that, again, it creates a good state of mind. There's no fear and anxiety because people know it's only a very short walk to go outside into the safety. They know where all of the rooms are. It's very, very easy to get your sense of space 
and to actually know where everybody is. Because there's a lot of building work going on, reconstruction of parts of the house, do you think that adds to the activity? I mean, in a lot of cases, um, paranormal activity will um, ha be heightened because of all the recent um, building work that's going on. Yeah, it's a very, very interesting point. If there are modifications made to an old building, an old location, there could be two explanations for the heightened activity. Number one, the paranormal one, would be that you're affecting somewhere where people have lived for many, many centuries and the spirits may take offence to that and may actually start haunting the place or get involved and produce activity. There could be a normal explanation for it, which is also if you've got building activity going on, then maybe affecting the foundations, the walls, the various structure of the building, and that could actually be causing perfectly natural things to happen. So things could be moved, um, you could have odd noises occurring, and people may interpret those as paranormal. So we can see just a few of the potential pitfalls that this investigation may throw our way. However, it's a challenge that greatly entices us all. And with medium David Wells now ready to channel whatever does exist within this Grade 2 listed abode, we were left to ponder on just how many hidden and haunted dangers lie in wait at Sinai House. When I come out here, we get um, we get a sensation. I think of things like um, horses' hooves. Mm -hmm. I can hear horses' hooves right. essentially. But there, there is a, a civil war theme as well here. And there's there's two there's two sets of things going on here. There's, there's a gentle horse and carriage thing, but there's also horses being pulled over, like like they're falling over during battle, um, and. The noise of those those soldiers, you know, the parliamentarians, the the cavaliers. Right. So out here, there's all of that going on. It's quite a mixed bag. Is it? there anything active out here? The only thing I am aware of in, in here is, and it almost seems like it's up there, to uh, probably that window there, when it was fully constructed. Right. A fleeting shadow that seems to be active, that may go right through the house. I don't know, that's just where I saw it this time. And it's, um, again, it's a white, sort of, white form. So you're seeing a white female. form going across this old bit here? Yeah. OK. Female, definitely female. Right. David's sensing of hooves do relate to the haunting image of a horse and carriage that has been known to fool unsuspecting passers-by. And this equine thread can also equate back several centuries to the civil war battles that regularly raged on or near this land. And little did we know it at the time, but another tale of blood and murder would soon prevail as we stepped into Sinai House. Most haunted Staffordshire base is Sinai House, a modern-day residence that masks an intriguing and eclectic past. And as David Wells has just informed us, this is a place where phantom horses continue to stun passers-by. Additionally, while stood outside, the psychic also hinted at the Grey Lady that is seen both in and around this building. But would her energies manifest once we stepped inside? I'm glad we came in here 